Finally tonight, Steve Hartman took a walk in the park, and as you would expect, he ran into something unexpected. Here's Steve on the road. Catskill Park in upstate New York has 700,000 acres of emptiness. So of all the things you might expect to see emerging from the morning mist here, a guy pushing a piano probably isn't one of them. I think I could do it. And yet that's exactly what we found. A fellow named Dotan Negrin pushing 400 pounds of piano through the wilderness. Has he never heard of a harmonica? That's why I do it. I do it because not everybody can do it. I do it for the challenge. I do it because- Why not a grand piano? That's a, You're not up for that much of a challenge. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> and really, this isn't just about the challenge of hauling a piano to an improbable place. This is more about the joy it brings once it gets there. Needless to say, for beachgoers, it beats the heck out of listening to someone else's boombox. And for a Dotan, it beats playing pretty much anywhere else. I get to play piano in this amazing setting. It's like this beautiful auditorium. And Catskill Park is just the latest stop in his Piano Around the World tour. He started in 2010, quit his job as an art mover in New York City, and began moving his piano instead. He has traveled literally from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters of Key West. He has taken the thing to Central America and Europe too always finding an unlikely place, even in the most well-traveled cities. Dotan pays for this through tips and donations. That woman just gave me a hundred francs. So far, he has barely broken even, but so far, it hasn't mattered much. I wanted to wake up every morning excited to see what would happen next. That way, like, you know, I, I'm on my deathbed. I can, I can look back and be like, yeah, I did this awesome thing when I was 24. Some pianists dream of Carnegie Hall, but Dotan Negrin dreams even bigger. Steve Hartman on the road in the Catskill Mountains. And on that note, that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, I'm Scott Pelley. See you Sunday on 60 Minutes.